What's up, family? Today we are going to be discussing stimulus checks. We all love to hear words and confirmation regarding some stimulus checks, and I do have some good information for you today. I also want to shed some light on some other rumors that we have been hearing about some other stimulus checks as well. But first off, we need to go ahead and discuss what stimulus checks are. For some of you, you may not necessarily remember because it's been a little bit long since we've actually received one, but here we are talking about stimulus stimulus checks once again in the year of 2024. But anyways, going back to when the pandemic actually started back in 2020, we saw multiple stimulus checks from multiple administrations, such as the former Trump administration, as well as uh, the current Biden administration. And here we are in 2024. Could we be on the verge of uh, receiving an additional stimulus check? Will this be number four of stimulus checks? Well, that is some questions that we all want to hear. But today, I want to share with you in this video exactly what those stimulus checks are. But going back into 2020, you guys remember back in March of 2020, which was round one of the first stimulus check in which we received $1,200. Do you guys remember that? Receiving that check in the mail. And then we also received $500 per child. That was a great time, or at least what we thought during that particular time. And then we ended up getting another round of stimulus checks as well. Round Round number two, which was in December of 2020, in which we received another stimulus check of $600 and $600 per child. So that was a lot of money. And then fast forward, I believe it was under the Biden administration where we received round three, which was in March of 2021, where we received a stimulus check, a large stimulus check of $1,400. And they also gave us $1,400 per child. Now, of course, like I said, three stimulus checks in which we all thought that this was uh, the best times of our lives. And then we ended up fast forwarding to the year of inflation. Yes, we have all been dealing with the issues of inflation, which is pretty much wiping away even more than what we received from these stimulus checks. Wouldn't you guys agree? I mean, inflation where the price of grocery stores, the price of food services and other types of things have gone up more than 50% in which some things have actually gone up more than one. 100%. So yes, a lot of us are now thinking back in hindsight, realizing that maybe we didn't necessarily need those stimulus checks back then. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily go that far. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to share with you in regards to how, where we've come from in regards to stimulus checks. And here we are in June of 2024 on the verge of expecting or receiving an additional stimulus check. Well, in fact, I actually have one state that is actually calling on or that have actually just approved of what they are calling a child tax credit, which we saw those during the pandemic as well. But the state of Illinois, they are now saying that uh, the child tax credit is back on the line. But how much is it and who will actually receive it? I have the details for you right here. This is in regards to a $50 million tax credit program that will provide roughly around $300 for low income families. Uh, yes, they just released this information uh, a couple of days ago in which it says that in the final hours of the spring legislative session, Illinois lawmakers approved of a tax credit of up to $300 for families with young children. Now, this particular credit is available to Illinoisans with children under the age of 12 years old who qualify for the federal earned income tax credit or also known as the EITC. Although it has some exceptions, uh, this credit is generally available to married couples earning up to about six sixty thousand dollars and single people earning up to fifty thousand dollars depending on how many children they have in their household now uh, for the taxes of 2024 income the tax credit will cap at just over three hundred dollars for tax filers with three or more children who meet certain income requirements taxpayers with two children face a cap of about two hundred and seventy dollars and taxpayers with one child face a cap of about one hundred and seventy dollars uh, but anyway, the child tax credit equates to about 20% of the state's EITC, which allows Illinois taxpayers a credit equal to 20% of the federal EITC. And of course, on this particular article, they have information right here where you can actually put in uh, what your earned income is and then how many children you have and then whether or not you file single or married and then hit calculate and it's going to spit out exactly what you can expect to receive uh, from this new approved 
child tax credit. Again, I want to be clear, this is only for the state of Illinois with some other uh, exceptions in regards to the rules. But specifically, uh, if you live in Illinois, you definitely want to research more information about this. I can also include a link to this article so that you can get to uh, this particular calculation or this chart uh, right here to find out what you can expect in regards to a child tax credit. But anyways, go ahead and check the links down below in the description. I will be sure to put it there for you. Uh, but anyways, yes, child tax credits have actually been very popular uh, in which we have uh, since seen the federal government offering their own child tax credit in which the IRS actually sent us uh, this money directly to taxpayers. And then we ended up seeing later on, uh, we saw where individual states were also approving of their own child tax credit as well, which is why we are seeing Illinois coming out with their own version of a child tax credit because we are still waiting on the federal government to do the same thing as well. But we all know the federal government continues to be a little bit slow, if you know what I mean. But anyways, like I said, Illinois, you have that right now. It has just been approved and hopefully that is going to benefit you or your family members. So uh, anyways, kudos to you out there. Now, in addition to that, what about any other types of uh, income tax credits or IRS tax credits or uh, stimulus checks? Well, uh, we have what's called what Biden has been doing, uh, President Biden, in which uh, he has been giving a different type of stimulus check to American people, but he has been giving it out in the form of student debt relief. Uh, yes, guys, this article came out earlier this year, back in February, but it just kind of shows us uh, the trajectory of what the Biden administration has been doing for Americans in regards to a stimulus check. Yes, the Biden administration so far has counseled more than $1.2 billion in student loans with new repayment plans as well. But a lot of this, uh, he has been wiping away student loans for low-income families as well as individuals across the United States. Yes, this is just a different form of a stimulus check. Wouldn't you guys agree? I mean, some individuals have owed $40,000 on the student loans, have owed more than $80,000. I actually know someone that owed around $280,000 in student loans and she recently received a a letter saying that the Biden administration is proud to announce that they have completely wiped away her student loan. So again, these stimulus checks are much larger than the previous $1,400, $600, $1,200 stimulus checks that Americans have been receiving. And here we are. The Biden administration is secretly canceling billions of dollars of student loan debt. I consider this as a huge stimulus check for specific individuals in this country. Uh, yes, guys, it is true. Whether or not you are a participant of this student loans, it is still a valid point to make. And uh, it doesn't look like it has stopped since this particular article has come out. We have had multiple other individuals getting their student loans wiped away as well. So uh, anyways, uh, right now, as of June of 2024, the Biden administration is still working towards wiping away more student loan debt. Guys, whether or not you believe it or not, this is a large stimulus check. He is still handing out free money to individuals across America. Guys, do not sleep on this. Some of you are uh, eligible to receive this, and then some of you are not. Me, myself, I don't have a student loan, but then again, my wife has a student loan, but it is not a federal student loan, so uh, she cannot have her student loan wiped away. But some of you out there have a federal student loan. Guys, you could receive this type of stimulus check yourself. I mean, what would you think about that $20,000 student loan? wiped away. That is a huge stimulus check. What about $40,000? Like I said, I have a friend that had $280,000 wiped away. That is the largest stimulus check of anyone that I know. But what about you guys? Do you know anyone that have received something like this? Well, the Biden administration is still handing them out as of today. So do not sleep on that. Uh, but anyways, guys, I do have some other information that I want to share with you in regards to some stimulus checks. Uh, there is an article out there that right here, as you can see, it says double stimulus checks of $600 and $700. Guys, you need to be aware of this because some of these crazy articles out there or some crazy videos are telling you that uh, you are going to be receiving some large stimulus checks in regards to being an American citizen from the IRS. 
things like that. I just want to make it clear in this video today. Uh, all of that stuff is uh, checking out to be as false information or as the former president Donald Trump would say, uh, fake news. But uh, anyways, guys, this is just one article right here. And then we have another article right here. Uh, you can see that it says that uh, no stimulus checks are not coming from the IRS or California in 2024. Do not fall for the false rumors. Again, like I said, there are a lot of articles out there from fake websites or also fake uh, channels, maybe on YouTube. But again, like I said, a lot of these have been fact checked and all of them are coming back as false information. So I at least wanted to give you that information today. Uh, but like I said, in this article, it is talking about where the IRS is planning on sending out some stimulus checks uh, to Americans as some economic impact payments. Well, again, this is coming out to be false. And lastly, like I said, a lot of this is popping up. I saw multiple articles. I also saw a few videos out there that are talking about the same thing, but they are trying to uh, word it as uh, this is actually true. But again, I could not find anything on the IRS's website or other reputable websites that actually talked about the potential of stimulus checks going to all Americans in this country. I still have not found anything like it thus far. But uh, anyways, I at least want to share that information with you. And like I said, as I scroll through this particular article right here it is explaining to you how uh, the deadline to file to potentially receive this stimulus check directly from the IRS or directly from California uh, again guys uh, like I said I really haven't found any reputable websites that are saying that this is actually true or any type of lawmakers or a congressman or anything like that uh, nothing guys I, I pretty much could not find anything but in regards to the child tax credit yes that is true guys you can actually go out there and fact check me, budget bill, uh, fact check it, uh, get your information there. Don't just listen to me. But again, I'm trying to bring to you uh, the most uh, prominent news or information in regards to us receiving a stimulus check, a child tax credit, or even an earned income tax credit, whatever it is for the American people that are struggling right now. Uh, that is exactly what I am trying to do. And hopefully uh, the information that I brought to you today uh, was better than uh, before. But but anyways, guys, hope that information was helpful to you. Hopefully we will find something very soon uh, in regards to uh, stimulus checks. I will say that uh, Donald Trump has not said anything in regards to uh, offering a stimulus check, potentially if you vote for him and he actually wins the next presidential election. I haven't seen anything like that thus far, which doesn't state that he won't necessarily say anything like that. But I will say one thing that uh, the former president, Donald Trump, has has said is that uh, if he does get into office, he is going to force lower prices on multiple things across uh, the country. He didn't necessarily say how he was going to do that, but he did say he was going to try his best to lower prices, which we have all seen go skyrocketing over the past uh, one or two years or so. He did say that he is vowing to lower prices in the United States, and he is also uh, going to make these other countries that we buy things from lower their prices as well. So uh, anyways, take that with a grain of salt. But obviously, he is still uh, the front runner in regards to the presidential election. And he is uh, one of the hopeful candidates uh, that could become in office uh, by uh, later on this year. So uh, again, guys, uh, hopefully we do receive some lower prices. I would love to see lower prices in the near future, but nothing is guaranteed. But anyways, guys, uh, what do you think about this? Are you going to be eligible for the Illinois child tax credit? Or if you live in another state, Hopefully we will get some updated uh, good information for you as well as my state of Texas uh, where individuals can potentially receive an additional stimulus check. Anyways, guys, uh, outside of all of that, I hope this information was helpful to you. If so, go ahead and hit the like button for me. I really appreciate it. And outside of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you here. Outside of all of that, I hope to see you on the next video.